bed sewer, sjenings videos vir prinsessies wat in bediening staan, week 34. Ek het hierdie video of teaching ongelooflik baie geniet. How the Satan blocks up prayers. Ek sal die link hier onder plaas. Dis samen van die links van die videos wat ek al reeds hier oor gemaakt het. Net omdat dit my so baie geinspireer het. Maar laat anders dink aan gebed. Maar dit is my wens en my sening vir jou die, uit die jaar. Mag God jou ook laat geinspireer voel oor dinge van sy woord. Ek dink die dieper geestelike dinge, die dinge, dat dinge jou ook sal so laat levendig voel, om dit die hele paar keer te kyk, om ook iets daarmee te maak, soos het ek die video's gemaakt het. Maar vader, mag ons iwers in die toekomst op die plek kom, dat dinge wat, wat ons kreatief maak, antwoorde op ons ook gebede, ook so ander mense inspireer, om dit nie nie te kyk nie, maar om dit ook te bestudeer, en het doggie baak kennis en weisheid daaruit te kry. Something you can take home. Ek wil een bykie praat oor my hug in a mug journey. Ek het speciale, ek het hier die speciale lekker koffie ontdek verlede jaar by my haar salon. Van daar die punt af het het een van my ginsteling geskenke geword, wat ek gekoop het vir mense. Iemand het op een stadium vir my vertel van a hug in words. Dit was op die selfde stadium wat ek die liefdesverhouding gehad het met a hug in a mug koffie. Ek het begin bid dat ek ook die hug in words vir mense kan gee, soos wat vir my vriendin gepraat het. Een dag, Rai ek achter een hag en een mak trokkie en ek het my gebed vergroot. Ek soek nou sommer een trokkie vol hag en hoed wat vir mense wil uitdeel. En maanden later het die inspiratie gekom om al die seningsvideos te maak oor die december vakantie. Dalk is het my arsenaal van hag en hoed waarvoor ek gebid het. Mag jy ook sulke super saais gebede dagelijks ontvang? Daarvoor bid en mag jy sommer op een wow manier die antwoord daarop kry. Jesus het die waterkoppie van die Bijbel genees met een drukkie. As jy die Hebreeuse woord gaan opsoek, ek dink waardelik ons onderskat die woorde wat daar is in een drukkie, in een hak. Mag ons ook trokkies van hak skryf wat ons uitdeel verander om geneesing te bring. I Origins was my een van die meest profound, diepste geestelike films, alhoewel dit een circulaar, circulare film is. Die persoon het die getal 11.11 .11 oor ons gesien en het begin volg. Ek het nogals baie hier oor begin wonder. Kort nadat die ratte my gedagtes aangeskakel is, het ek die bevestiging gekryd hier om een droomseminar by te woon, waar al twee geestelike getuienis gegees, om te verduidelik dat God praat met ons dier getalle. So mag God ook so op sulke unieke maniere met jou praat, al is dit dier gewone, sikulare films, om te sê, hy sal jou laai. Ek bid waardelik vir jou vir een geest van kreativiteit. Hierdie podcast van Rob Bell het soveel kerswees lichtjes van my laat aangaan. Ek moes dit nie dood eenvoudig verander in een video. Mag jy ook so geinspireerd word om waardelik kreatief te wees, maar God jou vervul met die geest van kreativiteit die week. You sang? Yes. In a tent on top of a mountain? It was unbelievable. Um, you officiated? It was a good time. <laughs> but I, uh, <laughs> Black Sage, shout out to Black Sage Mesa. But uh, um, you covered, yeah. so ladies and gentlemen, there were, Robcast listeners, there were 250 people at the wedding yeah. in a tent on top of a mountain. But Rozzy got up and sang, You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman. Mm -hmm. We were in the very back yeah. corner of the tent. And it was like electric. Thank you. Are you aware? <laughs> Um, like you're doing something that's filling space. You know what I mean? Yeah. And great performers, great performers are deeply tuned into the moving of energy around space. Yeah. Are you aware? Oh, the, oh we're filling the tent here. Yeah, I know the feeling for sure. Um, Does it, it come upon you? Is it? Is it that's a, a good gift? You're giving? How do you think about it, like spatially or metaphorically? It's such a. It's such a. Um, um, it's such a, I mean, I, I feel like you must know what I'm talking about too. With any kind of performing, I feel like it's like this wave is how sure. it feels to me. It feels yep. kind of like a thing that starts kind of low and just kind of like comes through uh, you yeah, yeah. is how it feels like to me. And yeah. for me, That's there's a good description. Yeah, there's like a feeling before I go sing that I, actually going back to like that first grade talent show, I can remember the same, it's kind of like the jitters 
turn it. It's it's a kinetic energy or something. It's like the nerves mm -hmm. or something turn into something that then becomes this like sound wave through you or something. Is how it feels like to me. Yes. Like, maybe that's like what people call the muse or something. It feels like a wave, I guess. Are you? Uh, do you have nerves? Are you jittery? Always. Are you? I oh, always really? get nervous. Oh, yeah. yeah, me too. But not in a bad way. Me too. I get nervous before Robcast episodes yeah. <laughs> in my back house. <laughs> yeah. I get like, oh, here we go. Yeah, I know, totally. Here we go. <laughs> no, but that's what I'm saying. I think that's the energy. It's like, that's like the thing Absolutely. that's like coming that you need to get out. And that's what people feel. Yeah. So I think it's a good thing when I feel nervous. And at some level, you're summoning something larger than yourself. Exactly. That you're hoping will uh, move through other people. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's... People ask me sometimes, like, what is your main goal? And I would say it's connecting. And it feels like an energy. Mm -hmm. It feels like the energy is what connects me. That's why I like to perform so much. It's like there's that invisible link. Like you're saying, there's like an en there's a space filled that other people can feel. Yes. And I just am, like, addicted to that feeling. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. You know, of, like, putting yeah. out an energy and having somebody else hold on to it or something and getting Absolutely. it back. Absolutely. You know, yeah. there was a, a, a British theologian named Dorothy Sayers who talked about how there's a three-part movement to all creativity mm. that there is the idea yeah uh, this is what I'm gonna do then there is the energetic outworking of the idea so it's the sweat of the songwriting it's grabbing the mic and mm -hmm. performing it and then there is the thing that is present in the work that is bigger than the work there is the spirit present in it that you can feel whatever it is yeah but her argument was that it's um father son and holy spirit trinitarian mm. that all creativity has a trinitarian three-part wow. relationship dimension to it that's beautiful and uh that you can do all of the energetic working of it but if it's a bad idea yeah eh. yeah um and you can have a great idea but without the energetic outworking of it. It could be a great song, but if it isn't flowing through the fullness of the person. Yeah. And then there's that thing that's lacking in spirit where it's technically perfect and wonderful and they yeah. work very hard at it and yet it just sort of totally just falls flat. Yeah. Um do you so